On Halloween night, Robin Gecht, his wife, and their three children moved out of the house they had rented for just over a year at 2163 McVicker Avenue. The landlord said they were three months behind in the rent. A child's tricycle is all that the family left behind. That and the impression they made on their neighbors. The small dealings that we had with them, they were like a normal family as far as we knew. Uh, they had kids, and the kids are always playing. They, he did the work in the yard, cut the grass, trimmed the trees, and more or less he started working on the house and painting like anybody else in this neighborhood would. The kids I always talked to, and they had a little boy, uh, two years old, and he was really darling, you know. And two little girls, one was five and one was seven and a half. Real good, real cute kids, and they never were abused, I don't think, because I never seen any marks on them or anything like that, you know. And he seemed to love his kids. Neighbors described Gecht and his wife as quiet people who kept to themselves. But there was one incident the people here are still talking about. It happened last summer when, according to neighbors, Gecht came out of his house with a shotgun and broke up a fight back here in the alley. Then he was regarded as a neighborhood hero. Now, people in this close knit neighborhood are shocked to learn of his arrest. We knew he was a little nuts, but we didn't suspect he would do anything like this. It's not the same person that was here. Okay, it's like two different people. A Jekyll and Hyde, if you want to call it. Gecht's wife, Mary, is a Catholic. Their two daughters attended St. John Bosco parochial school. The principal says there was no indication that the children came from a troubled home. The darker side of the family's life came to light in a neighborhood restaurant where Rosemary Gecht occasionally waited tables and poured out her troubles to other waitresses. She told one close friend that she loved her husband too much to leave him though he frequently stayed out all night and brought home girlfriends to live with his and children. Gecht, who worked on and off as an electrician, also shared his home with two of his helpers, Edward Spritzer and Andrew Corcoralis. The news that the three men are suspected in up to 17 murders has sent a wave of fear through the homes where Gecht was invited to do odd jobs. Most neighbors refused to talk about Gecht on camera. They said they didn't want to get involved. Those who did talk say that the close-knit neighborhood may be slower to welcome newcomers the next time. Everybody here has been here for many, many years, and our families live here, so you're going to be very, very watchful of who comes in from now and on. He always told us Terry Anzer, Channel 2 News, on the West here, Side. People have been here a long time, and, you know, I said, fine. I said, I don't get along with everybody. I said, no, no trouble.